Today, we'll be building a bean counter, a real-time coffee inventory tracking device for ingredient wholesalers. All of a client's coffee is stored on the bean counter and it wirelessly reports usage back to the roaster so they can see how fast coffee is being used and better plan which beans they roast and when. The smart scale will automatically place requests for coffee to be delivered when bean count is low so they can deliver coffee exactly when their clients need it based on actual consumption. You may not be running a coffee company, but this project will be of interest to anyone who wants to remotely monitor inventory or environment. Making the bean counter requires some basic electrical knowledge and the ability to solder, but otherwise the project is appropriate for a novice. The first thing we need to do is assemble the electronic components. First, solder the wires to the electron and install the SIM card. Now, attach the electronic components. In the collection of 3D printed parts for the base, you will find a square electronics panel. We will install most of the electronic components to this panel. Connect and wire all the components according to our diagram, including the electron, the battery, load cell amp, temperature and humidity sensor, and cellular antenna. We're using ThingSpeak to send data from our bean counter. You'll create a ThingSpeak account to get started, then you'll need to create a channel and fields for the elements you want to monitor. Now that you've set up your ThingSpeak account, we need to update and upload the firmware. We'll put the firmware on the electron that will handle reading the values from our sensors and sending them to ThingSpeak. You'll need to download our simple example code, open it in your favorite text editor, and replace a few values with information from your ThingSpeak account. Check out GitHub for further instructions. The last step is to assemble the bean counter hardware. After you make all of the parts, here is how you put them together. Install the threaded inserts. Install the bean counter arms. Lay the electronics into place. Attach the load cells to the base arms. Route load cell wires. Attach the top plate standoffs. Attach the electronics panel. Integrate everything. You're done. Test your bean counter to ensure it's working correctly, and you should have a device that can remotely track inventory or an environment in real time.